Hey everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore. Welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and hit that bell for notifications each time I upload a new video. So we are in the midst of Christmas in July, and I think there's maybe a week and a half left or so for Christmas in July. And I'm so sad because you know how I love Christmas stuff. But as soon as that new catalog comes out August 3rd, I'll be doing Christmas here and there. Um, not all Christmas because there's Thanksgiving coming, there's Halloween, there is a lot of other little things, birthdays that I have to do still. So we're going to do a whole bunch of different things um, as soon as that new catalog comes live because, oh my goodness, there's so much good stuff in there. I had such a hard time ordering this time. There's so much good stuff. So today we are this quick and easy day. So we are going to be making this cute little treat holder. I actually made this and I forgot to put them in and I didn't want to untie the bow that I did because the bow was so cute. But I actually made them for these Bueno Minis. So you could fit two of them in here, but in the next one, I'm going to go ahead and see if we can fit these Hershey's Kisses because I believe they will all fit in there and I'm gonna put, see how many will fit in here. But isn't that cute? I love this ribbon. It needed a little bit of sparkle, so I'm using our new ribbon on this. And this is the white glittered organdy ribbon. We have this ribbon in black as well. We've had it for a while, but I love this. It has black with silver little glitter in it, but isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness. And I love this deer. And this, we have a stamp set that has the deer punch in it. This is the designer series paper I used but I'm gonna show you it real quick because it is a celebration choice. So celebration goes along with the new annual hat, uh, new annual catalog, August 3rd coming out. And so for every $50 you spend, you have a free choice of a product in the brochure, the celebration brochure. Now, if you're a custer, regular customer of mine, you probably already got your catalogs or they are on their way to you. And if you haven't gotten one, you can email me and let me know because um, I do order them through Stampin' Up. Um, if you are new and if you do not have a demonstrator, um, you can email me as well. I've already sent out a couple um, to some of my new customers and send me your name address and I will be happy to send you out one. So the Celebration brochure is a smaller brochure and it has all the things you can pick from and this is one of the things that you can pick from and so it goes with a bundle that we have in the new uh, the new mini catalog so this is the little deer and it has a punch that will punch this out but I didn't get the punch I didn't get that bundle I really want it but I had so much other things that I wanted it was so hard to choose but I may eventually get it but I used my scan and cut and I cut out a bunch of these little deer from, with my scan and cut out of my designer series paper. So if you have a scan and cut, you can cut out this um, designer series paper as well. I use this other side as well, but look at this paper. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. I love this. This looks like wood trees, bark trees. And then it's got the striped, I love that, look at this. This would go so cute together with the snowflakes. Then this, I'm using the snowflakes actually on this project and then it's got the plaid on the other side. These trees and then polka dots and these snowflakes with the green and then it's got, this looks like pine needles. And then the last one is this, isn't that pretty with the deer and this little um, plaid pattern. So this is a free choice. If you spend $50, you can get this one, this for free as a free choice. All right, so let's get started with this. The first thing we're gonna do is we are going to run our pieces that we need through our cut and emboss, and I'm gonna use my little mini. I love this mini cut and emboss. It's so handy, especially when you have smaller pieces. So we are going to use the one, two, and then the other two on top. And I think I can do both of these. So we're doing the 
scallop circle and the regular circle. And these are our layering circles. And this just folds right back up. It's so nice. It folds right back up and it just takes barely any space. I love that. So this is for our little deer that we are going to use here. You also need another scrap of basic white, which we are going to cut out our little sentiment. So I'm using this and I'm just going to cut it by hand and I'll show you that when we get there. All right, so now we are going to score this. And the piece that we're scoring for the box itself is six and a half by seven. And on this seven inch side, we are going to score it at one and six. And then you're going to turn it, and on the six and a half inch side, you're going to score it at one, one and a half. Two and a half, four, five, and five and a half. That's all our scoring. All right, so now to cut this, we have two sides right here. They both have one inches there. These are our sides. We are going to cut out these four on top here, and we're cutting them on all four sides this side and then we're cutting them off of this side so there's two little squares a half inch and a one inch oh, missed the half inch <laughs> and then we're going to cut down on the sides and on the this middle piece you can leave these solid, but cut uh, quite a bit out of this middle piece because this is going to fold on the outside and it's going to be like that on the outside. It just folds better because this is not perfectly straight. So we're going to do the same thing on this side. Then again, cut quite a bit out like that. So that is all our cutting on this one. So it's going to look like that. I'm trying to get it an angle where you can see the score marks and everything. All right, so next thing that we're going to do is I'm using this little corner rounder. You can use the detailed trio punch for punching these, but I have this always on my bench. So I'm going to just use this and you're going to round the ends here. If you want to leave them straight, you can leave them straight, but I really like them rounded. Then we're going to just sharpen. And you're going to sharpen these. This top one that's one inch is going to go the opposite way. So you're going to fold in on these. And then this one is going to go the opposite way. And then these are going to fold in. All right, now we are ready to glue. I'm going to use my little glue bottle. I love this little glue bottle. It really has come in handy. So what we're going to do is you're just going to put glue on one side here, and then you're going to put glue on this middle one. So I'm bringing these up like that. And you can get them as straight as you can, but they're not really meant to be perfectly straight. And then this is just going to fold up like that. And then this we're going to do the same way. I'm going to put glue on this one side here and then on the inside of that one, the middle one. I'm going to bring these, have them meet, and then that one goes up like that. All right, so it gives a little design too on, on the sides. I thought that's pretty cute. All right, so now we are going to mat it. For these matting pieces, you need four, two different patterns, and they are 7 eighths by 4 and 7 eighths, all four of these. So just pick two patterns out, which I'm going to use the 
snowflakes and the little plaid here. And we are going to add these. Make sure I get on the ends of this. And then this goes on here. I'm going to do the up. We're doing both sides, by the way, on this one. And then the snowflake pattern. You need to round the corner of one side of these. Like that. Do it on both of them. And then we're going to glue this to the top part, which is like our little handle. Just like that. We're going to do both sides again. Let's put together our little pieces. I'm going to stamp using Memento Black, the Season Greetings. And the Season Greetings comes from Tidings and Trimmings. It's this one right here. And this one is in our annual catalog. It came out with our annual catalog. So um, this is really the perfect size. And that's why I wanted to use this. So I am... Doing the season's greetings. And then I'm just going to cut this. Close to the lettering. Like that. And then I'm going to just cut this a little bit more. And I'm going to do just flag this end. Just like that. And I'm going to grab my little deer. This one's going the opposite way, but you can use any deer that you want. I'm going to add this piece, the basic white, to our little scalloped. And then we are popping up the reindeer. I actually need a, one of our little minis for his head. And we're going to remove those backings. And then we'll put him on here. And I should have picked the reindeer going the other way because I think my season's greetings is going to go the wrong way. Yeah, it's going to go the wrong way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to restamp the season greetings. And we'll put it going the opposite way. All right, so we got that done. I need to cut this little end because it's not perfectly straight. There we go. That's better. And I'm just going to add some adhesive to this. And it's going to come off of him like this this time, going the opposite way. Then we're going to add some adhesive to the bottom only of this. And this is going to go on the bottom here. And I'm using a regular hole punch. And I'm only going to punch one side and then we will do the other side. So I want it kind of in the center. I do want it in the center, not kind of in the center. but. And then I'm going to use that gorgeous ribbon. String that through. And let's see if I can tie a bow now on here. I'm going to go this way now. This, this is so pretty. This ribbon is so, so pretty. 
It actually ties really nicely too, even with all that little glitter in it. All right, let's trim that. And that's it. Quick and easy, right? Oh, I forgot to put the the Hershey's Kisses in there. Let's do that because I want to show you if they fit in there or not. So I didn't try those in um, the last time, so I want to make sure that they fit in there and how many actually fit. I brought six out here, so we're going to see. I know they fit. It's just... Well, you're going to be able to fit quite a few in here. I think you could probably fit at least two more in here. So about eight Hershey's Kisses in there. But yeah, after I made such a pretty bow, I had to redo it. <laughs> but I wanted to show you what fits in there because, I mean, you can fit quite a bit. Actually, Hershey's Nuggets or um, anything that's about... You know, an inch tall will fit in here, but so pretty. My bow is not going to be as pretty, so I'll have to redo it later for when I take the picture. <laughs> All right, so that's it. Here's the other one. Aren't they cute? So cute and so small and just really fun. Wouldn't those be real cute for your neighbors or co-workers? All right, everyone, August 3rd, the catalog goes live, and you will be able to get all these products, the ribbon, the designer series paper, um, the layering circles, and the cardstock you can get now. So stock up and get ready so you can make them. <laughs> all right, everyone. I hope you all have a blessed day, and I'll catch you in the next one. See you later. Bye.